everybody and welcome back we are about to be uh knee deep in some adventures knee my name deep. is z garcia i'm chris ye i'm ruel gaviola and this is the adventures of robin hood that scoundrel and thief or a good guy no disrespect <laughs> All right, so uh, before we get into it, we're going to go ahead and have a contest uh, here, a giveaway for The Adventures of Robin Hood. We are giving away two copies of this worldwide, and to, <laughs> that's not distracting at all, and to enter the contest, you want to email us at contest at dicetower.com, subject Robin Hood. Uh, I don't think they need to put anything specific in the body, I guess address in case you win, we can, we can you know, send one of those out. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to. We'd love to do that. They could put in whether they think Robin Hood is a good person or a bad person. I love it. Nice. Not that it would disqualify you if you think that he's a bad person. It won't actually. Yeah, <laughs> right, no, right, right, right. really, it doesn't matter what you put in there. <laughs> anyway, good luck to you. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and dive right in here. So, first of all, little spoiler alert: the game we are going to be playing through the first scenario in the game. There is. Not quite a rule book in this game. We're going to be using this sheet here that tells us how to set up the game and walks us through how to, you know, what we need, how to set everything up. It will eventually reference, uh, you know, the book here or, or direct us to the book. And we'll read from there and sort of learn the flow of the game as we are playing. But you have your warning for uh, spoilers. I'm not, you know, we're spoiling a small fraction of the entire package, but you should know that. I believe we've also got some folks from Cosmos in the comments. Um, I'm guessing they're here, so yeah, if you're welcome there, to go them. Ahead, go ahead and introduce yourselves in the chat so we can peek up. If, if you have any corrections for us, that'd be awesome. Right, right. And if anybody you know happens to have a question, I suppose. All right, everybody. So let's do it. Welcome to Sherwood Forest. If you're playing the game for the first time, continue reading here on the starter sheet. Okay, so... It says uh, to take the eight game board pieces and put them together. We did that. Lay all the wooden parts out. We did that. Each player is going to pick a character. And uh, if there's three of us, then it's Robin Hood, Little John, Maid Marian. And or Will Scarlet could be one, but I like yellow and that's Maid Marian. So I'm going with that and you're Little John. I'm Little John, but <laughs> don't let the name fool you in real life. I'm actually quite large. <laughs> Help me, help me. I'm so glad I you did swear. the voice. And then, I'm uh, so glad you did the voice. Robin Hood. I'm Robin Hood. I'm trying to do my best Kevin Costner impersonation. It's pretty so good. I'm Robin Hood. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got the book. We've got the cloth back, accompanying booklet. We should not need this, so we'll just put it in the box for now. I'll set it here. Politely. All right. All done. Great. Then continue here. With the following introductory game, you will learn the rules of the game as you play. In just a few minutes' time, you will get to have your first turns. So, one, you are not playing against each other, but as a team to beat the game. Yes. Two, how do you move your figures on the game board? So everybody has a figure, two standing figures, in fact, and three movement figures, two medium and one long one. Exactly, okay? Where, uh, where and how far you can move is going to depend on how you line up your figures. And then, of course, I say a picture's worth a thousand words, so they kind of show you over here on the, on the back. It's pretty simple. So if I'm somewhere, I can spend these to move. So I'll just line this up against it. I could even turn like so and, you know, use the other one to do that. And then eventually, once that's done, I put myself again at the front and I'll remove all these, and that's where I moved, okay? So that's how that works. There's also, and I think they'll talk about this in a bit, well, right here, you can save strength when moving, and, when moving, and that is if you do not use the long one when moving, then you save strength and you may throw one white cube in the bag. Look at that, it's amazing. All right, all clear, fine. You can leave this sheet next to the game board in case you want to take another look at how moves work. And we are ready to start. So we open up the book to page eight, and we read aloud how everything begins. Nice. I want to shout out Tom from Cosmos is in the chat. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. Good to see you all here. All right. Excellent. Tom, Thank hello. You. All right, guys. Here we go. <clears throat> 
Chapter 1. The Escape. England in the year of our Lord, 1193. The guard shoved little John forward. The chain he had been tied up with rubbed against his wrists. Through his hood, he recognized the silhouette of, an, of the approaching gallows. Now, flip over the oval tile on the game board with the number one in it, in the castle courtyard. Yeah, so you're going to get in there, flip that over, and put it back in. Got, got it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Uh, this is the guard that we just, were just uh, mentioning. Boom. Now lay one <laughs> of Little John's standing figures on this guard. So lay one down on him. Like actually lay it? Yeah. His heart was racing and his mind started to wander. Is this the end? Is this the end? Is this the just punishment for all my deeds? Is this the just punishment for all my deeds? Or is there still a or way is there to... there still a way to... Escape. Escape. I won't do that the whole time, I promise. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> okay, so now flip over the beggar tile 110, which is before the castle wall to the left of the gate. So right here, 110. I'm going to flip this over, like so. Sweet. Uh, all right, the, we are going to also flip over the straw wagon tile 214 before the castle. 214 straw wagon, and this is simply so that they are not visible. We are hiding those two things. Okay. Flip over the wagon wheel tile 180, top left in the forest. 180. 180. Yeah, flip that over. All right. And the merchant tile 120, bottom left in the forest, so that they are again not visible. 120? 120. Okay. That's not, no longer visible. There we go. That is that. Okay, so Robin Hood places one of his standing figures on the oval tile 11, top left in the forest. Okay. So that's right there. You're standing up, I think. Oh. Because you're not captured. You're free. You're free man. I'm not taking a nap. Okay. Maid Marian, if she's in the game, places one of her standing figures on the oval tile 9, bottom left. Bottom left, tile 9. Bam. And uh, that's it. Will Scarlet's not playing. So each player taking part now throws the wooden disc of their color into the bag. Wooden disc? Wooden disc. Or, oh, uh, wooden disc. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And this is you. Go ahead and toss those in the bag. In the bag they go. Hurl them in the bag. <laughs> there we go. Throw the red disc into the bag, too. Oh, I bet, that, I bet no. it's not good. I bet that's that yeah, red is the color of usually not good. <laughs> it says, now place the book's gold ribbon here between pages 8 and 9. Important. If you're ever uns unsure during this adventure where to continue reading from, always go back to where the gold ribbon currently lies. Oh, okay. That's swanky. That's and then it says, swanky. now continue reading on page 9. All right, so. During a round of the game, you draw all the discs from the bag one by one. They are piled on the uh, mill wheel down here, bottom right of the game board. The color of the drawn disc indicates whose turn it is. Any player now draws the first disc from the bag. Immediately read what happens to the course for the corresponding color. Okay. Very good. So go ahead. Shall I be the, yeah, the disc? Go ahead the and disc pull master. One. Yellow. Yellow. Look That's Maid that. Marion. All right. Well, here read. A bit there. Yellow. <clears throat> Finally, you're back in Nottingham. Hopefully still in time since you received some bad news a few days ago. Your father is guilty of heresy, it said. Heresy? A, <laughs> <laughs> a terrible mistake. You have no doubt about that. But of course, you want to find out more. Task! You now have to move towards the woman. 130, bottom of the forest. Okay, After that, right draw there. the next is. All right, cool. Okay. All right, so movement... And I believe uh, now there are some. I forget if this was explained bit, over there or yeah. somewhere. The movement is basically not through. Yeah, they explain it over here in this breakdown of how things move. Can't be through solid things. Can't move. You know, you can't. And not allowed to travel over trees, rocks, houses, castle wall, river, waterfall, carriages, objects, animals, or people. So, like in real life, I can't just. You can't just walk over things. Or, yeah, walk or through things. Okay. 
Uh, and that's it. You know, they kind of explain, like, you can offset the movement figure if you would otherwise travel too far. Um, when you put your figure down, it can be at an angle so that you can reach something. And you can also, if you intend to travel a very short distance, just skip the movement and just put one figure next, next to, the, next other. to the other figure. Okay. You okay. know, like that. Cool. And that saves you energy and lets you, because you're not using your long one. Right. Okay, long right. move. Okay. All right, so i got to get over here. All right, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do. Sure, I don't go through that tree, and I'm gonna go there, and I want to try to make it as close as I can anyway. So I want to go there. There we go. I'm standing right there, and I'm done. Cool. Okay. One hundred thirty. So after that, draw the next disc. All right. You want me to take that over? Uh, yeah. Which? Here yeah. We go. There you go. Oh, you can keep reading. All right. I got the book. A bookie? I also know how to pronounce book. <laughs> book. That is you. That's Lil John. Blue. Right, well, here. You got it, real well. <laughs> okay, cool. There you go. We're reading from all that. Okay. Blue. The gallows are approaching. Ho <laughs> ho! Don't like that. Yes. One of Little John's teammates now continues reading what happens on page 11. Um, I'll continue. Uh, you are not the only one that has been captured by the sheriff in the last few weeks. The Crown collected high taxes. Whoever couldn't pay their taxes was considered to be a traitor and was persecuted and their belongings seized. The residents of Nottingham have lived in constant fear and have little hope for better days. Place the rounded bard figure on space 17 of the Banner of Hope on the game board. So there's all this, right? Space 17. Mm -hmm. As all of this goes through your mind, you try to free yourself from your chain again, but you still cannot move. <laughs> if, like you, a player is currently captured by a guard, they cannot move. Therefore, you do not use your long plane figure and can at least save your strength. This means that you may now you may now throw one white cube into the bag. Bada bing. Bada bing. You're very welcome. Okay. Any player now draws the next disc from the bag and reads what happens where the gold ribbon lies. So we'll go back to the gold ribbon. All right. Here we go. Okay. Come on. So what'd, you, what'd we got? Ah! Is that red? That is red. Okay. Dark events. Oh no. <laughs> The Sheriff of Nottingham gazes over the landscape. Early this morning, he sent out a few guards for security, for today is a special day. Number one, now flip over the oval tiles, six, bottom by the river, and 12, top in the forest. 12, so top, of the, top of the forest for 12. That one, can you reach it? Guard. Okay. That's a guard, guard. also, yeah. Okay, and then uh, second step is now throw one violet cube into the bag. Ooh. Violent cube. Violent, violet. Uh, any player then draws the next disc from the bag. So we know this one's going to be you. Yep. Bada bing, time for our hero. Yep. Finally, right. Finally. Oh, there it is. Couldn't even get it. All right. Bada bing. got you. Okay. All right. It says, what took you so long? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> you breathe in the cold and wet forest air of Sherwood. It's been years since you were last here, way back before the Crusades. Since then, you have been plagued by weird dreams of suffering and fire and a horned creature. Or horned, however you want to say that. I like to say horned. <laughs> horned creature. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's as though this shape has been summoning you. Task. You must now move towards the shape, 90, center of the forest, then draw the next disc. Okay, so I'm going here? You're going there. Okay. To a strange creature with horns. Okay, let's try to get as close as possible this turn. All right. There you Boom. go. Boom. All right. So, if there are no more discs in the bag, the first round ends, then continue reading on page 12 which is what happened. Congratulations, you have mastered the first round. Yes, mastery! <laughs> Throw all the discs used in the last round back into the bag. Important, so here you go. Important, place the gold ribbon of the book here between pages 12 and 13. So I guess we're updating to there. Nice. There we go. So turn sequence this is a little sort of explanation box. The following rule is particularly important and is therefore also depicted at the top of the game board. Take a look at it together. The sequence must always be carried out in the following order. So it's move, save your strength, if you did that, 
and then perform one of two actions, examine or defeat. So it says in the next round you will get to know these two actions. We shall continue with examine. New rule, or we shall start with examine. New rule, if during the course of the adventure the standing figure of a player touches a tile with a question mark on it, they may examine it. It must not simply be flipped over. To examine it works like this. Um, you will see a small number on the relevant tile. This corresponds to the page number here in the book. A team may therefore read to you what happens on the given page. This is important. A tile without a question mark cannot be examined. When examining, you must also know which adventure you're currently playing. Reminder, you're playing the escape. Uh, continue reading on page 13. Escape. <laughs> <coughs> Start Any player now draws the first disc <laughs> from the bag. Read what happens for the corresponding color. Who wants to pull it? You want to? You want to give it a go? Yeah, I want to give it a go. Give it a go. All right. Do the good uh, one. Here's a good one. Do the good one. That's green. Hey. That's you, Mr. Hood. Look at that. I'm a hero. What a hood. <laughs> Mr. Hood, you're the best. Come to save us. Uh, you suddenly feel a piercing look. Turning around, you notice a figure bent and seemingly ancient. They are wearing a decoration of feathers and animal skulls on their head. They beckon you over. Task. In this turn, you must now touch and examine the unknown shape tile, which is 90, with your second standing figure just by moving there. This means that a teammate then continues reading to you what happens on page 90. Okay. So, so does this you... reach it? Let's see. You could reach it with the two, yeah, that reaches, that reaches? it. Yeah. Oh, perfect, yeah. Okay. So you're saving energy by doing that, which means we put a, key, a, white, a white cube, cube in, the bag. in the bag. There you go. Look at that. And then page 90. Let's give it a go. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, so on page 90, then there's this sort of breakdown here that sends you from this page. It says, continue reading the appropriate page depending on which adventure you are currently playing. So we're playing the escape, so it's just 91. I'm going to let you do oh, that. Oh, interesting. So it's just kind of showing this. If you're playing a later scenario, you reach tile 90, different pages. Right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, 90. The figure greets you with a rough, weak voice. Robin of Loxley, you left a long time ago, but now you're finally back. Not a day too early. The whole of England is in danger. What is that supposed to mean, you ask? That was you. That was you. He did your voice for you. Hey. Thanks. Take notes. There you go, Kevin Costa. <laughs> A storm is coming. It will be here. And it will begin here. Here in Nottingham. The figure retreats into the undergrowth. I will tell you more when we see each other again. But you must be careful, young Robin. As soon as the sheriff knows you're here, he'll hunt you down. He already caught your old friend, Little John. If you hurry, you may still be able to save him. Now, flip the guardian tile. Okay, this, one. this is the Guardian tile. Okay. okay, attention! This is kind of a boxed off uh, little thing here. If a player is standing on the same clearing as a face-up guard and the red disc tile is then drawn from the bag, the guard will capture that player. This means that the guard does not automatically capture you if you step on their clearing, but only if the red disc is drawn. So it shows clearing, Z. Does that mean like... Yeah, so a clearing, which is the one they're showing us here, is this one, is basically any area that is not in shadow. So this one you can see is sort of this area here. Mm -hmm. That's the clearing. And then these shadowed areas in between the forests are not a clearing. Oh, so you're kind of hiding. Right. Woo! All right. All right, note that in order to stay safe, a player must stay have their standing figure fully in the shade. Any player now draws the next, next disc from the bag and reads what happens from where the gold ribbon lies. All right, let's take a look. Ah, so, so you encountered a, a strange old creature. Oh, is it an old woman, perhaps? Yeah, I thought so. Yes. An old figure, I think, yeah. Uh, ah, that is you. It's little John. Little John. No. Oh. All right. All right, let's see what happens. You try to defeat the guard. Grumble, grumble, grumble. So chained up. Yes. This is One a bad plan. John's teammates now continues reading what happens on page 14. Okay, let's see what happens with your grumbling. Okay, little John's turn currently looks like this. One, move. Not possible because he's still held captive. Two, save your strength. Yes. Therefore, you may now throw one white cube into the bag. There you go. 
Okay. And then three, as we know, perform one of two actions. We will now, you shall now learn the second action, defeat, which is quite simple. In order to defeat a guard, the player must touch the guard tile with their standing figure. The player, uh, and these are just called standing figures. That's Even if you, they're laying. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. called that. Uh, the player then draws up to three cubes, one after the other from the bag. If they only draw uh, violet cubes, they have unfortunately not defeated the guard. Nothing else happens. The player may try again during their next turn. If they draw a white cube, the guard is defeated, and they must stop drawing cubes immediately. The drawn cubes never go back into the bag, but always to the supply of all the wooden parts. Oh, okay. So stop. Okay. Only continue reading here if Little John has defeated the guard. So give it a try. So actually, it would be really great if I pulled out that purple one that we if threw If you pull a purple yeah. and then a white, that's actually better. Dang it. All right. Well, You're I succeeded. Too Darn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too awesome. So I succeeded. All right. If the guard has been defeated, the guard towel is flipped over, and you will see your reward plus one hope beneath the guard. Oh. Which is just printed on the board. Okay. Boop. So right. that's what so. that is there. So we increase our little bard, a round bard token. Yeah. That's so cute. Nice. And does this go back on, or does this go It goes out? back on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so we did that. Move the one, one barred one space to the right. We did that. Important if the guard is flipped face down on the game board, also place one additional wooden hourglass on top of it so that the guard doesn't return too quickly. So we're also going to put this on there. Ooh, oh. on the. On top of that tile, yeah. Okay, like that. Like that. Cool. Uh, the player places his figure back again, so it is still touching the guard tile, which you did. Place the red ribbon here between pages 14 and 15, in case you want to reread the rules for the defeat action later on. Okay. Any player now draws the next disc from the bag and reads what happens from where the gold ribbon lies. All right. Let's go Let's ahead see and if do it's that. You. It might be you. Oh, it's me. Okay, there okay. you go. Maid Marion. Is that yellow? Okay. Look, a maid. Perhaps out picking mushrooms. She might know how your father is doing. Task. In this turn, you must now touch and examine the maid tile, 130, with your second standing figure. This means that a teammate then reads to you what happens on page 130. All right, that should be pretty easy. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. And I'm standing right there on it. Blam. Okay. I'm all up in her, in her grill. In her grill. I'm like really like covering her. I'm like, where's my papa? <laughs> 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 not like barely, like we were barely touching the towel. I'm all over her. All right. You're picking mushrooms. You probably know about my dad. Where's my father? <laughs> you seem overqualified father. for the job. Okay, uh, we've got uh, Rowena, the maid. Continue reading on the appropriate page, depending on which adventure you're currently playing. We got are it. playing the escape page 131 right here. Sweet. I do know you, the maid shouts back. You're Lady Marion. You ask about the rumors about your father. I'm afraid you have read correctly. Father Egbert con heard his confession himself. I feel sorry for you, but heresy is a great evil. I'm afraid they will also suspect you. Now flip over the maid tile. Okay. There we go. Okay. What happened there? Could that be possible? Could your father actually be a devil worshiper? <laughs> no. You energetically, you energetically shake your head. Now you must speak to the priest first of all, as quickly as you can. Task. You must reach Father Egbert 150 in the village as quickly as possible. So he's over here, right? Yep. Bam! Yeah, that's 150. All yeah. right, I'm going over there. I gotta traverse all this. You got a ways to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, now any player draws the next next disc and reads what happens where the gold ribbon lies. Z, if you pull out a red disc, I'm gonna blame you for our failure. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Red disc. No, Z, I'm oh. good. I you. was a mushroom <laughs> traitor all along. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. What do we got? Um, well, here, read it. Oh, okay. Keep going. All right. Dark events. Dark man. events. From a distance, the sheriff can hear fanfares blaring and can't help but smile. Oh, oh good fanfare. Uh, only he knows whose arrival they're announcing. Okay. Number, somebody's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, the hope drops by two. Move the bard to the left. Whoa. Oh, wow. This is very round, actually. It's <laughs> very chubby and round. I do like this, that bit. This is adorable. I love it. It is, yeah. The bard token. It is adorbs, as the kids say these days. Totes. Totes. Uh, number two. Ooh, someone in the chat caught. You didn't use your 
extended movement. I didn't. That's right. That's oh, right. Yeah, Saving my energy. Well done, chat. Uh, now flip over the oval tile seven left next to the ga castle gate. Okay, that's this one right here. Yep. More oval tile, please. Okay, and then throw one violet cube, one of the violet violets, back into the bag. Boo. And any player draws the next disc from the bag. If there are no more discs, the second round ends. Continue reading on page 16. All right. Uh, we'll so we throw them back in, I think. 16. No, not yet. Okay, so okay. it'll say it now. <clears throat> It says, well done, you have mastered another round and have already learned the most important rules. You should now take a breather for a moment and relax. Maybe you would like something to drink. You know what? Don't mind if I do. Since I don't have Topo Chico, I will go with Agua. Mm. Topo Chico has muy delicioso. Ooh, Agua Fresca. Bien caliente. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right. Purified. Oh, we took our breather. We took our drink. I think we're good to continue. Shall Hydration we continue? Work. We shall. Let's go. So it all discs that in the book. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I'm reading this verbatim. <laughs> Throw all discs used in the last round back into the bag. Place the place six hourglasses on the bag end, bottom of the game board. Bag end, I think, is this here. Yeah, five, six. Boop. There we go, and then all the discs back in there. All right. It says, during the adventure, there will be fewer and fewer hourglasses at the bag end. If the last hourglass is removed from there, you have lost. The hope in the land will also sink. If the hope falls to zero, you lose another hourglass. You, uh, you lose another hourglass from the bag end. Tip: You may also defeat guards without being captured. Yet you can, you can also make a, a conscious effort to defeat a guard. See page fourteen. In this way, you can increase the hope in the land and make a clearing safe for a while. So you don't have to be captured to fight back, is basically what they're saying. Cool. Okay. You can be you can proactive just... with your overthrowing of the local government. All right. This is what so, the book is teaching. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Aim of this adventure. All of you must stand together in the same piece of shade anywhere outside the castle before the last hourglass has been removed from Bag End. I'm Batman. <laughs> to achieve this, what? A Get in the bag and hide in the shadows. Yeah. All right. Bane comes out. Oh, you adopted the shadows. I was born in it. <laughs> I'm molded <laughs> by it. I'm little John, but I'm actually quite big. <laughs> I'm actually Bane. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So to achieve this, you must first fulfill the following task: examine the game board and find a way for Little John to leave the castle. Note. John can, uh, can of course, only reach the castle wall using the stairs and cannot simply jump from the castle walls. Additional task. If Maid Marian is in the game, she must examine Father Egbert, 150, as quickly as possible before she joins the others in the shade. Now continue reading on page 17, which is this one. Place the gold ribbon here between pages 16 and 17. Very well. Any player now draws the first disc, uh, disc from the bag. Read what happens for the corresponding color. Who wants to give it a go? I'll go ahead and do it. It's, it's right, right here. Come on, here it comes. Here it comes. Bada bing! Uh, Mr. Robin Hood. All right. Robin. It's Robin Hood. Uh, this is very simple. It's Robin Hood's. Uh, Robin Hood's turn. After that, draw the next disc. In fact, they all say that. <laughs> oh, okay. So okay. go ahead. Okay. It's your turn. Okay, it's my turn. So no more little mini tasks. Robin Hood, you can help us out by um, figuring well, out gonna, how to, how to help break to, the yeah, out. Yeah, how, how are we going to break this open? And we need to end up in the shadows together at some point. So, right. So right now you can deal with the guards. Okay. Um, so I, I'm guessing I can go around this way. Probably the short, That's probably the shortest path here, right? Through the shadows. Um, I'll use these here. I could do this. How many white cubes do we have in the bag? Do you know? We got, uh, we, we got a few, we right? We have a few, yeah. Okay, we have so a few, yeah. So I'm going to use the long one here and end up right next to the castle. Okay. Right, so you're in the... Sort of in the shade, sort of. But you're in the light. You have yeah. to be fully in the shade. Okay. okay. All right, so that's it. Let's draw another one. All right, let's do it. 
The good stuff. Saba boom. That's me. That's little John. All right. It says it's little John's turn. After that, draw the next disc. Okay. The training wheels are coming off. They are. So you assume that I'm like standing at this point. You right? are. You can stand. Yes. Okay. I bought a bing. You're a free man. I'm a free man. Uh, so there's a question mark on this tile, so I could explore it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and you know what? Since since you two yahoos have a bit to go to help figure out how to break me out of here, I think I will do. I'm just going to go over and explore. So you're supposed to leave. That's why they give you two, so you can you place the second one. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. And Got then it. you can remove the old one. Zoom. And remove the stuff that I used. Yeah. I did not use my ex my extended movement. Right. So toss one in there. Bada bing. Uh, that is entry uh, 121 or page 121. Page 121. Okay. Let's take a look. All right, 121. It says, what you are doing here is very risky. What if a guard spots you? You car carefully loosen the loop and roll up the cord. Place one cube of your color on the image of the rope, parchment top right of the game board. Top. On the image of the rope. Okay, so there's... Parchment top right of the game board. There oh, we go. Got it, right. got it. This indicates that you now have the rope object. Oh, yeah. Rope function. Yes. If you touch the elongate... Is that how you say that? Elongated? Elong no, because there's no D. Elongate? Oh, the elongate tile. Oh, okay. Oh, that word is... Oh, okay. Okay, so if you touch the funky long tile... <laughs> funky long 111 tile. by the castle wall, you can perform the examine action... One of your teammates then reads what happens to you on page 111. Now flip over the gallows tile, oh, the one you run, yeah. and then any player draws the next tile from the back. So you basically Badabble. walked up to the gallows, you beat up a dude, and then you went to the gallows and stole the rope. I took that the they were gonna, rope with them, They yeah. were going to hang you with. Wow. Yeah, you might man. be bad, man. I'm like Princess Leia. I'm, I'm taking Jabba the Hutt's chains and oh. and, and taking them down with yes, it. Yes, yes. Reference. You're probably wearing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they called me Little John. <laughs> oh, we're gonna stop that analogy I'm, I'm right not there. Comment, um, yeah, we're I'm, done. We're we, we so shall, done. We draw another. <laughs> draw another disc quickly. All right. Without speaking, I think is what you meant to say. Maid Marion. Uh, all right. So it's my turn. Then I draw the next disc. Okay. So I just got to get over there. Basically, I have to hoof it over there. Yeah. Here we go. Huh. Huh. Go. Ooh, I'm gonna shadows. Shadows. shadows right here. Nice. Well, there is a thing here. Mm, you could explore that boat. Mm. I wonder if you could, uh, you know, end up riding take that a boat. Down maybe there. I can take a shortcut. Yeah. Do it. Do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. I'm doing it. Yes. yes. And you fall off a waterfall. <laughs> 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 All right, so it's 208. <laughs> Uh, who wants to read this? It's page, Mr. page 208, Mr. then. 208. 208. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. I'm going to take this boat. You find a boat on the riverbank. Bam! Do you want to use it? Yes. At the other end of the river, you will find tile 209. If you want to use it, throw two violet cubes into the bag. You may flip it over, take your figure, and place it onto the boat. Yo. Then. Oh. Yeah, I should do it. Yeah. If I, I want to do it. Uh, if you want to do it, uh, throw two violet cubes into the bag and then flip it over. Take your figure and place it onto the boat. And then flip this over? Yes. That's 209, right? This is 208. You flip Am over I flipping two. over both? It says, at the other end of the river you will find 209. If you want to use it, throw two violet cubes into the bag. You may flip it over, take your figure and place it onto the boat. So okay, this, I'm guessing the I'm boat guessing is this a looks boat like on a the boat. other side there. Yep. There we go. I'm in there. All right. Then flip over the tile 208 so the boat is oh. visible only once on the game board. Yeah, okay, as if you sense. traveled along the river with it. That's amazing. There we go. If Look you don't want to use the boat, it remains face up next to the drawn from the bag. Note, a maximum of two people can travel on the boat. Now any player draws the next disc from the bag. Wow. She I was sailing this. along. I got this one. On moonlight. Beaver! Dark events. Shall I read the dark events? I feel Please. like I'm, I'm doing all the dark events. The sheriff notices a carriage decorated with gold approaching. 
Finally, oh. he is here. Okay, here we go. Number one, flip over the octago uh, octagonal. How do you say it? Octa octagonal? Octa octagonal? Octagonal? Octagonal. The eight-sided piece. The eight-sided piece, uh, tile 24 at the very bottom of the forest. That one. Okay, flip that over. Ooh, the land now loses three hope. Ooh. Bram, bram, bram. Flip over the oval tiles three to the left of the castle wall. Oh! Three. Ooh. Four that, that's to the, the guard, right behind it? the church. Four behind the church. It's back there by that shield oh, thing. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, 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 and yeah. number five in the village. Which is right there. Woo! So there's a bunch more guards all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Number four. Attention. If a if a player now stands on the same clearing as a face-up guard... Am I there? Yes! Ugh, they are captured, and their figure is laid on the guard. The land then immediately loses two hope. Yo! We're losing hope! This dude jumped out of a pile of rocks, like, What though. the heck? They have ninjas hired at this castle. Ooh. <laughs> Number five, remove... <laughs> There's ninjas. Remove the top hourglass from the bad end and from guard one, the castle courtyard. Beep. So one from here and one from there. Okay. Yep. Uh, note, the guards are not flipped over automatically this way. Okay, six. Now throw one violet cube per player into the bag. Oh, Kidogi. Oh, suddenly, suddenly yeah. we were we thought we were okay. There's quite yeah. a few in there now. Then any we player draws it. the next disc from the bag. If and I no think they're players. all out. Yeah. Okay. The third yep. round ends. Continue on page eighteen. All righty. Here we go. Page eighteen. Now, I bet it's gonna say congratulations. I know. Congratulations! You are already in the middle of a great adventure. Throw all discs used in the last round back into the bag. Throw a gray disc into the bag as well. Whoa! New rule! If the gray disc is drawn, it's the turn of any player of your choice. So as a group, uh, to, to, together as a group, who that shall be. I the like drums it. are beating and the fanfares blare. Now flip over the carriage tile 24 at the bottom of the floor so it is no longer visible. And also tile 25 in the castle courtyard. Ba -da -ba 25. 25 right here. Is that the thing? Is that the... Oh, oh. they're in there. And I'm still standing at the gallows like, I got your rope. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we did that. Since King Richard left for the Crusades, the land has been ruled by his younger brother, Prince John. That very God. same man now climbs out of the th magnificent carriage. The Sheriff of Nottingham bows deeply before the Prince. But all little John is thinking, Prince John in Nottingham? What does this mean? What does this mean? You're thinking it, okay? <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Now continue on page 19. Um, here you go. Have a go. I'm going right. drink some water. Page 19. Agua. Info. The adventure ends as soon as all of you stand together in the same piece of shade outside of the castle or when the last hourglass is removed from the from the bad end. Uh, must is it the bad or the bag end? What was it? Bad end? Bad end. Bad end? Yeah, this is the bad, bad end, end, I guess. Oh, okay. I was thinking bag end like Lord of the Rings. I might have okay. said bag end. <laughs> okay. Because it's so ingrained. Bag end is like such a, <laughs> you know, the bad end. Yeah, you must read. You must then read how this adventure ends on page twenty. Okay, when we get to that. Now place the gold ribbon here between pages eighteen and nineteen. Yeah, there you go. You now experience the joys of the ribbon. It's gold ribbon Z. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Any player now draws the first disc and read what happens. All right, all right. Let's do it. Here, have a go at the all right. The disc drawing. Okay, here we go. Uh, the the good stuff. Uh -huh. Green, that there is you. you. Go. Right. I see. Robin Hood is selfish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is Robin Hood's turn. Well, okay, so we go through the turns, right? So yep. moving, you cannot move because you're captured. Correct. So a white disc. Then one of go. these is going to go in here, yep. right? Then Bam. two. That that's two. And then three is trying to fight the guy. Yep. So. Reach so remove bag. bag, remove cubes one at a time, mm -hmm. up to three. As soon as you get a white, well, you're good. Yep. And they all go. And away. we're trying to. We do want to get the violet cubes out of here. Correct? Ideally, it's violet, violet, white, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Violet. Yes. Double, double foot, foot, double foot, foot, double foot, diamond, double foot, violet. Nope. 
Okay. Right. You know what? I'll take it though. Yep. So both of those are out. You and win. you successfully. And then that's, I think that's where the goal, where the red ribbon is, I believe. Yeah, so that one said, so we do that. If the guard has been defeated, flip the guard tile over. Right. You get the plus one hope. Hey! Hey, all right. Beep, 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 hope beep, returns beep. to the land. Okay, so we flip this over. Okay. And then you see that, we flip it. And then we place the uh, an additional hourglass on it. Not one of these at bad end, but just an additional one. Correct, one okay. of the from supply. Because I think this this keeps it from coming back too quickly. Mm -hmm. Got and it. You are now, you know, there. All right, cool. and now uh, after your successful turn, we that pull out the it. next. Uh, yeah, we're gonna pull out the next. Uh, there you go. Okay. Let's see. Who's I want to see what you got going on in that castle. Yeah. Evil. Ooh, bad stuff. Evil. Ugh. Dark events. All right. Dark events. What's, what's the king up to now? <laughs> Ooh, the, what's the he? the, he's gonna make the hope lose. Uh, make the land lose three hope. Ooh, that's his deal. Boop, boop, it's boop, hopeless. Boop, boop. If a player now stands in the same clearing as a face-up guard, they are captured and their figure is laid on the guard. I'm okay, good, nothing. Good, so we good. don't lose two hope. Uh, note, if there are several players in the same clearing, only one person gets captured at a time. Because one of them outruns them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to outrun Makes the bear. Sense. Just, just outrun, outrun the other person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the top hourglass from the bad end. Okay. And from any guards if applicable. So, okay. okay. That one. All right, should the hope be at zero, then you remove another hourglass. Nope. Throw a violet cube per player into the bag. Oh, man. Mm. Woo. And then we go ahead and proceed to the next uh, next disc pull. All right. Okay. You want me to pull some yeah. discs? Yeah, here? let's do it. You can't draw anything bad, so. Little uh, John. That's you. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. So, okay, let's see. What's it say? Here, all right, let's see how it feels to move. move. So you're going to take a turn, yeah. Use that rope. Uh huh. Fish you. Uh huh. Oh, I can't quite get there, fellas. No? Oh, sucker. But I can get. Up there, I'm almost. I'm so close to the tile. Oh, okay. All right. That's All not right. bad. And then we still have a gray one, though. Yeah. So ah. either I could double up, or I mean, also Maid Mary, you need to get to here, and it would be nice for you to not get captured along the way. Yeah. I might. I might have to beat that guy up. Oh, well, that would be a shame, wouldn't it? Okay. Super chat. That's me. To say pair character You're lifting some weights. Say keep, keep it up. Keep it up. Is that like a? It's a sticker that we can't see. There we oh, go. Oh, nice. That's a description. We just read a description. Read. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cute little pair working working out. Oh my goodness, how cute. Mm, mm, yeah. Pump that iron. Keep it pump up. It, pump That's it. very cute. Well, well, thank I you love very that much. We read it together. That was. I don't know, like it's a description of the sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Millhouse eyebrows emoji gif. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I pulled the yellow. That's gonna be me. I should. Should I try to fight this guy, even though I haven't been captured? Well, that's true. You could preempt it. You could preempt. Now, what happens if I lose? Do I get captured? I don't think I do, because they didn't say anything about. They said specifically. The only time you get captured is when the red, is when the red one comes out. out. Right. So it's like a run by slapping kind of thing, right? <laughs> like he doesn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get there. Here, help me, help me out here. Let me see. So I can go there. Because mm -hmm. there's a house here, right? But I can go there. Yeah, you could you could go around that. And I can go around that this way here, and then slap this fool. Yeah. Do it. Oh, I did it. The same thing. You, you did. You, you did do. the thing, Z. This is the thing I told you not to Which, do. It's so easy to find the faults in others, very... especially when that other person is me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so I guess I'll fight this guy. Slap any slap. Give me that. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, poke him, poke him right in the eyeballs. Okay, that's one. Get fireball. That's two. Oh. All right, you got this, Z. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. A purple again. Oh. All right, so they go out. Oh wow. So they're they're gone from the bag. What happens to me? Is that we can go to the uh, go to the red 
tab, uh, the red uh, the red ribbon, ribbon will tell me what happens. Oh, okay. So let's see. You can let that one go because it's marked. Okay. It's a smart system, so you can it flip is. back and forth. So it says draw three. If they draw only vile, they, they have unfortunately not defeated the guard. Nothing else happens. They may try again their next turn. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Everything is coming at Millhouse except for Z's bag pull. Yeah, but I did. But there were too many purple ones in there. That's right, you cleared them out. out. You yeah. cleared them out. So we're gonna have better successes tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. So that's that. And then the final one in here is that gray one. Yeah. So you want to go again? I, I feel like yeah, Chris. You should. Uh, you think it should be me? Yeah. Get get out of there. All Figure right. out what's going on Use there. That rope. All right. Yeah, man. Let's do it. So I'm gonna use my one. You're movement. taking too long. Rope it up. And uh, where's my? Here's my standing figure. So a bada boom. I All get right, to add a go. white so cube into the bag because I didn't use my nice. my lengthy run. That's good. Cool. One eleven. It says. One eleven. Okay. So it says you may only continue reading here if you have the rope object. Ba ba boom. <laughs> move the, <laughs> move the cube of your color from the image of the rope back to the supply. Now flip over the. Elongate tile 111. I have a hard time with that word. Um, when it is your turn again, you may move up or down along this tile. Yeah! Yeah. This is note show your teammates the adjacent image. <laughs> okay, there you go. See, you're supposed to be. Uh... <laughs> oh, I, I, so I literally have to use my. I have to use the <laughs> measurement to be like. Oh, that's wah, cool. wah, wah, wah. Okay. okay. <laughs> nice. Um, now any player draws the next disc from the bag. There aren't one, so there isn't one. So we go back over here, and it says there's none. Throw them back into the bag and draw the next. I think that's it. Then we don't. Doesn't look like we need to flip a page. Oh, is that okay? So we did this already. I think this is it. Then this is going to continue to cycle. Then okay. Okay. So it's either we get the bad ending or we get our objective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right. So I go there real okay. well. All the discs are back in. Let's see what we get. So I need to get to. Oh, oh, right. oh bad tidings! Come on, dark events. Traitor! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> what do we oh got? no! Made me. Oh crap! Oh, I got cap. Really should have poked him in the, the eyes while you were yeah. slapping. I was. I didn't move quickly enough after the slapping. You should not right, be so turned by him. <laughs> dark events. The land loses three hope. Mm. If a player now stands in the same clearing as a face of card, they're captured, laid down on top of it, the land loses two hope. Ah, four hope! Wait a second, am I also on one? Nope, he hasn't flipped over He hasn't yet. flipped over. Um, okay. Then, remove the top hourglass from the bad end. And from the guards, if applicable, should the hope now be zero, another hourglass is removed from the bad end. Now throw one purple cube per player into the bag and draw the next disc. Oof. Okay. Oh, man. There we go. Terrible. That's what we call in the business. A big oof. All right. Oh. Of choice. Uh, I think that should be Z, right? Because he needs to yep. fight, get away from the guard, and and, exp and still go into yeah. the, yeah, the church. Yeah, I think whatever, so. Right? I think so, too. Yeah. So, I don't move, which means I do save strength. Hey. There you go. And then I want to try to slap this guy. Do it. Release me! Slappity slap. I don't know you! Here, hold That's that. That's my purse! <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. She's chucking mushrooms at the guy that she took from the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Purple. Purple. Okay. Purple! Oh. Come on! Oh. Oh. No! Oh. Wow. It was a valiant effort. Yeah, sorts. I got another turn coming up soon, though, at some point, so... Yeah. Oh, that's true. That was yeah. it, right? That yeah. is the whole shebang. Yeah. So then Ooh. I just draw another disc. Get yep. that yellow. Yeah, let's, let's do it. There, there we go. I'm, yeah. I'm, now she's yeah. pumped up. Yep. You know? oh, yeah. Now her pitching arm is warmed up. <laughs> yeah, you got Wade Marion is on the team now. Here we go. Let's call that purple out of there. So first of all, I got another white cube in there because I'm right. not moving. You didn't do the long move. Here we go. Here we go. This guy's getting knocked out right now. Boom. Boom! Mama said knock you out. <laughs> and then we put, oh, we gain one for knocking that guy out. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and then we put an hourglass on it and myself on there I guess there we go um, that's it unfortunately I have to wait till next turn to, to make it to that person we'll so, see it's so the, close. the end objective said we have to all be in the same shadowy spot anywhere outside the castle right I believe yes. yeah it says it again there okay Cool. So it could Stand be together the same piece of shade outside the castle. So it could be any one of these, even in the village. Right. I was yeah. thinking we had to get to the forest. Right. Okay. In fact, well, you're kind of far away, but yeah. yeah. And there's a guard gun. here yeah. covering quite a giant area. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, but it could be. I don't like. You know, it could be anything near. You know, somewhere between all this, like yeah. over here, maybe even in this little shadow. I like it. The yeah. problem is, yeah, you're you're really far away I, from I the rest of us now. Yeah. And crossing this is going to be tricky because of that guy. You should probably try to knock him out. Yep. All right, here we go. Was that it? That was. Yeah, that was your fight. We got the hope. We got the hope. There you go. All right. There you are, Mr. Hood. So let's move. Um, yeah, if you knock out that guard, yeah, we, we gotta, are we're in good shape. Mama said knock him out, right? Knock him out. Okay, so I do have to use a long one. Victor asked in the chat, what's the disadvantage of being captured? You're forgoing movement, right? So you don't get a movement turn, basically. So Z had to stay put twice, right. whereas he really wants to get just around the corner, talk with the abbot here, to complete one of his tasks, and then that's still movement that we're further out from getting closer to a shadowed area. Yep. Okay, here we go. So I did use my long movement, so I, we don't have the white cube. Right. But now okay. I draw. Oh, bam! See, that's how you do it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not as effective as Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robin of Locksley. <laughs> All right, so this dude is out. Yeah. We increase the one hope. We do right. And we put the uh, hourglass. The hourglass on there. Nice, nice, nice. Knock him out. This little birdie circling his head. <laughs> Is it, it's, it's men in tights, right? Where there's like the, the Prince John is like the dude from New Jersey. It's like, I've got bad news, sir. Or I've got news, sir. So, it better not be bad news. I can't take bad news right now. <laughs> He's very New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. um, that was, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got one more disc and that is. Um, that's little old me. Come on now, climb down that rope. Come on down. Let's do it. So, boop. Um, I th you want to save the long one? I don't think so, right? Because we don't have, we shouldn't have much guard yeah. combat going on. So I'm just gonna hoof it. All right, but where are we going? Where I mean, we what going? Oh, you know what? oh, you know what? There is a guard there actually. So maybe it's worth it for me to sort of hang out. To kind of hang out in there the There is a shade. deep shadow right there outside the castle. That is outside the castle, right? Yeah. So I mean, I could. Uh, I could hang out in here and yep. be pretty close to like wherever oh, we want to okay. meet up. Right. Like maybe meet up in that middle part of the village or whatever, right there. This could be good. Yeah, this I think could I be good. Reach that on one of those. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> uh, bah, bah, boom. You gotta be sure you see a little sliver of you in the light, baby. <laughs> there you go. All right. Tuck your foot in. <laughs> <laughs> I see toes. <laughs> Is that a boot? <laughs> um, that's it. So we just chuck them all back in. Right? Okay, yep. Just Dunk go back out. in. There you go. Have a go at the bag pulling. You got it. Info. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. All right. That's it. Yeah. Just keep Good doing stuff. that. That's Mr. Robin All of right. Loxley. So, we're going to meet here, right? I still need to go talk to that fella. I mean, I'm hoping there's nothing after talking to this guy. Yeah, hopefully you're double turned. If he t sends me anywhere else, I'll kill him and meet you guys. <laughs> <in the show. laughs> so you Look, my, my father's not that important, okay? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a heretic, whatever. Okay, Chris, I'll have you uh, oh. direct me towards that way. Can, we, can I get in the shadow? Uh, Ooh, it's going to be close. Uh, yeah, I mean, but this is the only guard here, and he's that's got an true. hourglass on It should be on okay him. for okay. a while. Okay. Set me up there, my friend. Thank so you. We'll go there. Robin Hood doing a little journeying. I know, he's doing a little sachet. Yeah, he's like, is, like, oh, this is a nice land. This is a nice clearing. Uh, right. That's it. All right. Yep. Pull it. Doing it. Uh, any uh, character turn. I, I, I mean, Z still has the, or Maid Marion, rather, still has the co you. objective to complete, right? Yeah. I guess so. You want me to go? Yep. Yeah. I can definitely get there with just this. Boom, that's a white cube. White cube? Right in the bag. 
All right. And uh, somebody read this to yeah, me. There one you number. go. It's 150. 150. Oh. All right. Maid Marion, let's see what happens. Father Egbert, the priest, continue reading on the appropriate page, depending on the adventure you're currently playing. 151 right here. Yes, if you are Maid Marion, mm -hmm, continue mm -hmm. reading in the bottom box. Go away. We have nothing left over for drifters and beggars here. <laughs> the priest tile remains face up. Now draw the next disc from the bag. Wait, that can't be right. Yeah, the priest tile remains face up. Now draw the next. The bottom the box. Bag. If you are, oh, read bad. the bottom okay. box. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you are, like, don't forget to read the right things. You're okay. killing me. I'm like, why did he send me away? I, I took a boat to get here. I've been sailing. <laughs> Father, okay. I stole a boat to talk to you. You did what? Get out. I get out. a boat to talk to you. <laughs> okay, so you've passed my test. Well done. Father Egbert wants to shoo you away when he spots you. Lady Marion, what are you doing here? Got <laughs> <Aren't> you, man. <laughs> I'm here because I want to know why you think my father is a heretic. I'm afraid this that is the truth, my child. I'm sorry. He himself confessed to having made sacrifices to the old gods. Oh, I don't believe you. Snap. Where is he now? I don't know, my love. See, when the sheriff's guards wanted to imprison him, this chap appeared and fought fiercely to allow your father to escape. Of course, the man was defeated in the end. Little John is his name. Do you know him? He is meant to be hung today. Now flip over the priest tile. And on the back is the devil himself. At <laughs> the end. Uh, your father, an escaped heretic, and little John on the gallows? Is it already too late to save him? Now any player draws the ne next disc from the bag. Oh, man. I love how you're like, sending me away. I'm like, that can't be right. <laughs> I know. That's so funny. <laughs> No, no, I came so far. That work. I got, tra I got, I got captured along the way. I had to beat up a guard. Oh, oh no. no! Dark events. Okay, what do we got? Lose three hope. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Anyone in the clearing is a face-up guard? Nope. No. Okay. Um, they are captured. Okay, so if they were captured by a guard. They we land, lose two lose more, two right? We are not captured, so we're right. good. Okay, remove the top hourglass from the bad end. Right. And from the guards, if applicable. Right. Uh, is the hope zero? No. Nope. Okay, now throw a violet cube per player into the bag. Draw Whew. the next disc. Uh, I'm going to go with no. I'm gonna okay. Go. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, and then... So we still got discs to pull out. Yep. I mean, this seems like probably the clearing to meet it now, yeah. right? So I'm good. Did that... I guess I'm I'm done with that. Now we yeah, just have to meet. Meet in the um, shadow. Okay. Blue. Blue. Double D. Double die. Double D. Double die. So is that where we're meeting in that one? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. We might we? as well. Yeah. Honestly, we're closer, closer, closer to that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. So I can kind of do that, right, to leave you yes, your fellas yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I, we picked the smallest shot. We did, <laughs> indeed. We did, indeed. But you do get a white cube in here. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And then... Should be... That's me. And I'm doing the same thing. I can very easily get there. Yep. White so cube. I'm doing that. To go in there. Huddle. Huddle! <coughs> and then a white cube in here. Okay. Can we do now, it? Now, unfortunately, the order of these... It's very important, I think. We need a gray or a green, correct? And then we're done? Yes, right. Okay. And yep. that's why I'm going to give you <laughs> that bag there. No and pressure. if any dark events shall befall us, it shall be your fault! Oh! You heretic! I don't know what it means, but my papa was it. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Oh my goodness. Okay. You pure evil! Well, so we anyone, lose three. Uh, three hope. Two, three. Ooh. Oh, baby. If okay. A player, anyone that's standing on clearing with a face-up guard? No, we're good. Okay, we're good there. Remove the top hourglass from the bad end until we still yes. have one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Throw a violet cube per player into the bag. Right. What if we had none? No hope. Uh, Do we lose another hourglass from... Wasn't there a thing about that? I thought there was. I don't see it here. Three hopes, three hope. Okay, should the hope now be zero, another hourglass is removed from the bad end. Oh. Right, but I think we're okay until, unless we need to lose one, right? Right. Yeah. No. Oh, or the, the last hourglass hour. has been removed from the bad end. Ugh. No! So then, we have to read how the adventure ends on page 20. Um, I'll that was very close. That was like Super one close. pull oh, difference, right? Is yeah. And uh, I don't want to say who pulled that, but uh, I don't want to point any elbows, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, 
So we're reading page 20. It says, Why, little John? <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right. Are you standing together in the same piece of shade? No. no. Has the last hourglass been removed from the bag end? Yes. Uh, then continue reading on page 21. Okay. The arrival of Prince John couldn't be a good thing. You have sadly lost. Chin up and don't give up. Important note. You should only play this adventure again if you feel you have not understood the rules. If this is the case, continue reading in the box at the bottom of this page. Recommendation. If everything is in fact clear and you just had a bit of bad luck, continue to read the next adventure in the box on the opposite page. There we go. All right. So you can't really lose this one, I guess. They, yeah. I mean, somehow we lost the introductory scenario. Um, and that would be completely embarrassing if I was the person responsible for that, Z. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so that is it. That was the adventure. You know, they, like I said in the intro, they, they teach you what a turn looks like and what happens as you read. So that's your rule book. That first play is your rule book. And that's going to do it, everybody, for the adventures of Robin Hood here. Don't forget we had a contest at the top of the video. So make sure you uh, go back and check that out if you haven't been, you know, if you didn't do that. Uh, but that's it. Now we've got, I believe we've got a pre-recorded play. Is that right, No, Roy? we're going to uh, Enchanters, right? That's next. Oh, that's right. Okay, Enchanters is next. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's that, everybody. Thanks very much. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Chris Yee. I'm Ruel Gaviola. And uh, we'll be right back, okay? <laughs>